morning, everybody. So important to know where your food comes from and how it's grown. Peter Kearing's with me this morning. He's the founder of Nature Fresh Farms. Uh, this is a mobile greenhouse that you're traveling right across Ontario. Uh, you're doing it at some of the Loblaw stores, but kind of explain here, greenhouse grown produce, how does it happen? Well, the reason we built this in the first place is because people today want to know where their food comes from, and so we want them to know. Mm -hmm. We want them to understand how much care and pride and passion our growers put into growing their produce. So these are all bell peppers, and then we have some tomatoes and cukes down here. Right. We start with a seedling. We start with seed. We yep. put it into a seedling. Um, we get it about six weeks into our greenhouse, and we put it onto this shredded coconut fiber. Oh, that's cool. And this turns into a, into a nice mulch. You can see the roots in here. You can see the roots in the clear polycarbonate case here. So they're pretty happy. We mm -hmm. give them exactly what they want. We, put a, we send a water sample to the University of Guelph every week mm -hmm. and a leaf, yep. and they tell us what we should feed them. Right. And that's why people ask us all the time, why don't my peppers at home look like this? Well, you have to do all of those things to make it look like this. Yeah, the other part too is if you look at this right here, it shows you just how clean it is. I can tell you, I've been in many greenhouses, the cleaner the greenhouse, the better it is. There's not gonna be any disease, any insects. That's the key. That's right, yeah. that's right. We never need to use herbicides. Um, we, we try to avoid pesticides at all costs. We use a good bug system to fight the bad bugs. Right, and for pollinators, you're using bumblebees. Absolutely, and yeah. we'll see the bumblebees here in a minute. Okay, um, let's, also, let's walk down to that end because I know we're gonna sure. run out of time, and I think that's so neat. So we're gonna walk down here as we move our way through. You have some strawberries down the end here too, and, and tell me what, about the end of this here. Um, you know, we have some bumblebees in here. Can I talk just for a yeah. second about the water? Yeah. So this is how we water. It's through a pressure, pressure uh, dripper system. Yep. And so every plant gets the same amount of water. But what's really key, Frankie, is that all of the water that we take, we continuously recycle pur it. purify it and recycle it. Yeah. So none of the water goes into the lakes. Yeah, it's a contained system. Exactly. He has the strawberries in the back there. So the strawberries are only here for, to, to, uh, for the bees, for something to do for them, because right. they love to pollinate them. And so we have all kinds of bees in here. The reason for the blue light is because bees don't see light like we do. Mm -hmm. So they can navigate and find the nectar that they want and they take it back to the hive. And they use bumblebees because they're passive, they don't bite. Exactly, and yeah. they're native to North America as well. And people wouldn't know what this is, but I do. This is a bio box. Exactly. And that there is beneficial bugs. They're beneficial bugs. Um, sometimes we bring in eggs, mm -hmm. sometimes we bring in bugs. Depending on different seasons, uh, different flights of pests require different uh, bios to combat them. It's all about sustainable. It's Absolutely. all about sustainable growing. So where are you going to be next with the we, mobile greenhouse? We're going to be, in the, in the middle of August, we're going to be in uh, Kingsville, Windsor, and Sarnia. And then uh, later we'll be in Ottawa. I think uh, beginning of September we'll be in Ottawa. So for more information, you guys can go to uh, Twitter, at nature underscore fresh, or at Loblaws Ontario. Uh, thank you very much for coming this morning. Thank you. Good thank things you. grow in Ontario, everybody. Take a look at this right here. Make sure that's on your plate tonight.